Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's get into another one. Heck yeah. TNT, uh, you know who Lamar Odom is, right? Yeah, I used to play for the Los Angeles Lakers. Played alongside Kobe Bryant for a long he time. He was a big man, uh, dated a Kardashian, and was caught in, the, I believe it was the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, um, with near lethal amounts of cocaine in his system. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, uh, yeah, he was like sixth man of the century or the decade or something. He was mm-hmm. really big sixth man. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then he ended up, they caught him overdosing in a brothel. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So essentially what happened, uh, after that is like, he obviously hit rock bottom, almost died. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he yeah. was broke. He, uh, so he ended up, he, he auctioned off his championship rings. Question. But, yeah. How, how do you, how do you go broke? If how, you're, how do you go broke as an NBA player? How do you have money mismanagement, how do dog? You, <laughs> how, do you, how, how do you have millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, and just go broke? Because you go to the bunny on? ranch, dude. You throwing just, throwing stacks at them hoes. You could spend uh, three years of your life at the bunny ranch, and it ain't gonna cost you ten million dollars. I mean, yeah, let's I keep it a buck, dude. Okay, I mean, but when you get frivolous. People out here, be, he was dating a Kardashian. He had a certain lifestyle he had to keep up with. Bro, if I spent $10,000 a day at the Bunny Ranch for a year, 365 days, what is that? That's three and a half million dollars. That's a, that's a paycheck. That's a month. That's a, you said he a only month. had 10 million. That's a year. That's a third. That's a year that's, but worth, that's just worth banging, of NBA work. That's just banging girls at the Bunny Ranch. He still has a house. That's, he still. So that's how he. I that's, mean, that's fair. That's how he goes through it. He went that's there every fair. day and spent ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I anyway. did hear about the. I did hear about him auctioning off his rings. So yeah, so he auctioned off his rings, which he only got like a hundred k for two rings, which Yikes. I'm like, damn, that seems low. Anyways, so uh, what happened was he said recently. He was, uh, I don't know, he was at a game or something, and uh, there was a guy who used to always sit courtside, uh, came up to him and was like, hey, I bought your rings, here they are, and gave them back to him, didn't didn't make him pay anything for him. He was the guy that wow. bought the two rings when he auctioned them off, and he brought them back. Now that his life's in order, he brought them and gave them back to him, so now he has his rings back again. Wow. So I was like, oh, look at that, that's like... Nice. Yeah, I mean, like faith in humanity restored. Hundred thousand dollar present. I mean, I guess that guy. If he's buying rings for hundred k, he's got money. Yeah, yeah. If you can afford hundred k, you can afford hundred k. Yeah, right. For I, something that f- essentially that frivolous. Yeah, yeah. I just want. I just want a NBA ring. And honestly, like for somebody to do something like I feel like he's earned a friend for life out of uh out of Lamar Odom. He better hook him up with some sort of something. You know, he's got a connection yeah. somewhere. Like, I don't know how valuable a friend like Lamar Odom is. It's like, what's he? <laughs> get, you, get you the discount on hookers and coke, I guess. But, uh, like, <laughs> is it too soon? He was the he was the guy that always ate candy all the time, wasn't he? Wasn't oh, that, good. Well, Snickers bars. Wasn't great. that his thing? He would, like, he would always be just eating candy. <laughs> like, everybody's like, you're an NBA player. And he's just like, I love Nerds Ropes. <laughs> he's like, oh, man, you gave me back my rings. Here's a fun size Snickers. <laughs> Like thanks. <laughs> He's like, I got, I got some Halloween uh, Starburst packs. Here's, there's two of them for you. That's four bursts. Yo, why do fun size candy bars taste objectively worse than full size candy bars? Um, I'll argue with you that they might be better because there's more chocolate per bite. What? Explain to me how there's you, a bite okay, to chocolate on, ratio hold, difference hold here. <laughs> if you so like a fun size Snickers is essentially a bite of Snickers, right? Like on a normal Snickers bar. But if you go to a Snickers bar and like, say you've already bit off the end, right? The end has the the cap of chocolate. You're just getting, you're getting a perimeter of chocolate, right? But if you pop that whole fun size in your mouth, you're getting chocolate wrapping on every single bite all the way around. You eat like eight of those. It's like one Snickers bar, more chocolate. (sighs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, so if we're talking, if we're talking chocolate surfier sur- surface area ratio, then yes. But oh yeah, the otherwise no, size, they, they taste like ass, dude. But, I get you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like taste wise is not uh, as good. And now, now you're talking to somebody who hasn't had a full size candy bar in like. Yeah, I don't know the last time I bought a full size candy bar. Yeah, it's been like 10, 20 years. I think maybe one time in this year I bought a Nestle Crunch bar. Maybe. Ew. Just because I for some reason wanted one. Don't know why. 
I, I don't even know if that's true, Ew. but I but I feel like I did. Okay, so look, look, now we got to get into it. Because the last candy bar I bought, I can tell you right now, it was a goddamn arrow bar. And I don't care. Really? Don't, don't at me in the comments. Wait, you, you, just, you just hate it on Nestle Crunch. It's the same effing bar. No, arrow is different. I'm talking, wait, no, not an arrow bar. What's the one that's like zero? Oh, zero. with the almonds and coconut in it? Uh. I'm not sure. It's like it, the that's white, gross. It's the white chocolate one with like the Milky Way innards in it. Is that what it is? Yeah. Maybe I've never had one like, of those before. Yeah, no. Oh, they're, they're they're white, white chocolate candy bars are pretty good. Yeah. I used to get the uh, Her Hershey's Cookies and Cream bar. Okay, that those, are, those are pretty good. Yeah, when I those came out, they were, they were fire. You know what one I really trash, like, though. and I'm I bet you probably do too, is the Reese's Fast Break. Because I know you're into peanut butter. You don't like that one. I love Reese's, but fast breaks are just garbage. Like, objectively worse, because all Reese's products are the same. It's like chocolate peanut butter. Here, eat it. Yeah, the fast break at least has nougat. Oh yeah, maybe I don't like nougat. Yeah, but you like Snickers. That got nougat. I don't Milky like Way got nougat. I, don't, I do not like. Oh, Snickers. you're not a nougat boy. No, no, no. I don't, and though I do think zero bars have nougat, but maybe it's the white chocolate caveat. No oh, man. I don't know. Look, we weren't even talking about candy bar, but since we're on the topic of candy bar. Yeah, yeah. I give mean, me give me your top tier candy bar. A plus S tier uh, number one with her, a bullet. Uh, take five. What the hell is a take five? I don't even know what flavor it has, that is. It has uh it has chocolate, I'm nougat, done. peanut butter, caramel, and pretzel in it. That's too much. It was it's good as that's F though. And it has much. a waffle pretzel in the middle that, of it, dude. Yo, why is it like seventeen different foods, Jonas? It's good. It's the turducken that, of candy. It is. That one's good. The fast break and Snickers are my top three, probably. Snickers? I love Snickers, dude. Oh god, that's like apple. I mean, pie. I, and then I mean, I do like a Nestle Crunch bar every so often. I don't. Uh, that's that's a lot. I'm surprised you actually had you had this one ready. I asked no, you, dude. I asked just you know a question last like. week about who's in your blunt rotation. You're like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you what your I got a problem candy. with food, okay? <laughs> ask you what what your top tier. I only ask for one candy bar, and you give me all of the ones ever created. Um, Take five, bro. I mean, if, if Reese cups count, Reese cups is number one. For oh, me, okay. 100%. Yeah, I don't think count as a candy bar, yeah, but exactly. essentially, if they, what if they made them like shaped like a Snickers, but it was just a Reese cup. I just it was just like chocolate with like peanut butter running through it. That would it, be kind of nice. Like uh, I think that's sticks. what they tried to do with like the fast break, but I don't I don't know, man. Some fast breaks break. are definitely different than the cups. Yeah, I, I would have to say if like my top tier would be the cookies and cream, and then uh, I'm a Mr. Good Bar person. Oh, okay. I think my mom did that to me because she always liked Mr. Good Bars. I don't like peanuts and candy very much, other than the Snickers, which is weird. <laughs> hmm. I'm not a big fan of peanuts in general. What the in, in in the Mr. Good Bar, they're like tiny little like they're like peanut chips. They're like peanut shards. Yeah, that's almost worse. <laughs> Cause it's just like spread out amongst the whole yeah, bar. And you just like, suck the chocolate it's like a off wood and chipper. Then, <laughs> you like suck the chocolate off and then you have like these little gallstone peanuts. Oh, a little turd bar. Yeah. Little, yeah. No, dude, I uh I don't really like I don't like nuts in almost anything. Like, I, I I do like nuts. I'll eat nuts. But, like, brownie with nuts in it, get that out of here. Chocolate with nuts yeah. in it, get that out of here. I, like I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, one thing, brownies with nuts on top, get that out of here. Brownies with nuts baked into them, we oh, can talk. Gross. We can talk. Oh, dude, I throw them in the trash. What you Somebody's mean? like, here, I got brownies. And I'm like, oh, there's nuts in this. Like, oh, yeah, they all do. I'm like, here, you can have this half back. The little Debbie's brownies, uh, cosmic like, brownies, dude. No, the, the like the yeah. Well, co I guess the cosmic. They're the, the same cosmic brownie. ones have candy. Yeah. The regular ones have just like the nuts on. Them. I would always scrape those fucking nuts off of there, <laughs> right into the trash, dude. I would right just right yeah. Well, I'd the get trash. the cosmic ones. So, it, I, but if I did have to get the brownie one, dude. And I used to love those things. And I got one. I don't know, five years ago, probably was the last. Dude, it is literally like a sugar cake. It doesn't even taste like a brownie. No. I thought it did. No. It does not taste like a brownie no. at all. It's no. like powdered sugar compressed with cocoa. <laughs> That's like what it is, dude. It's so gross. Yeah, right. Dude, I don't know. What? What's your favorite Little Debbie snack, dude? Hmm. I haven't had Little Debbie's in forever. Um, I gotta go with the Swiss cake roll. It's, really? It's a timeless favorite. Like, you, there, uh, there's never a time I'm gonna turn down a Swiss cake. Yeah, I like the the Christmas tree cakes with like the they're like the vanilla cake with the white frosting and they're shaped like Christmas trees. I, I really a, they have the sprinkles on them, dude. I like. I, them a lot. I have a problem with sprinkles where I I don't I don't believe them. I don't believe in them. <laughs> believe what? I don't believe them? in that sprinkles. They exist? I don't there. believe that they add anything to the eating experience. Texture. 
Get, uh, get, come on. Yeah, but all, other than that, yeah, cosmic brownies, fudge rounds. Oh, I love me some fudge rounds. Yeah, sprinkles, sprinkles are a lie, Jonas. So, I don't know. Well, sprinkles are a lie. Yeah, and good that's, luck. And good luck to Lamar Odom, by the way. <laughs> yeah, bye. Good luck, dude. Uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.